Get out. You must be John Rapido, so I've been looking for you. That's nice. Get out. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I'm like you. If you're anything like me, then I really ought to shoot you right here. Listen, my name's Clyde Davies, sir. I'm an outlaw, just like how you were. <laughs> well, I could... I could really use your help. I don't... Listen, I, I can't shoot out a gang or take down whatever bounty hunters are on your ass, so I appreciate you coming on. Listen, it's taken a long time to even get here, all right? I would appreciate just a conversation. It is all I ask. And, well, it doesn't look like you've got much else going on. It was then that I followed the rumors north. I found a little town down there, asked about a mysterious man. Might come down from the mountains every so often, get a drink maybe. And well, led me right to you after a bit of searching. I can tell you right now that whatever the hell you're here for, that ain't worth it. I'm here because I'm here because I'm in a lot of trouble. With a gang. I already told you. I'm not doing any more killing, alright? You wouldn't do it alone. I'm a good outlaw. I know what I'm doing. And my father, well, he always told me stories about you, all the things you've done. Took down ten men at Dead Rock by yourself. Two men in a single duel. Escaped from county jail without the help of another living soul. All the things you've done, you were an inspiration. Didn't know those stories got around so much. You know, I've been called a lot of things in my life, and... Inspiration sure as hell ain't one of them. You were always that to me. I always looked up to you, especially after my parents died. They were both taken ill. I was very young, just a boy. Didn't have any money. Of course, no doctor's gonna help. My dad, he, he ran a dairy farm. You know what you left with? A lot of cow and milk and cheese and death and nothing. I had nothing, and there was not a lot of good ways to make something from nothing. So I did what I thought I had to. I went west, went to find a gang. Thought I'd be free, but I wasn't free. It was just different people telling me what to do. And I remembered you. I thought, oh, I'd find John. Maybe he'd help me. Here I am. I'm asking for your help. We could do this. We can make this life good. It ain't worth it. This life you're talking about, it ain't worth it, son. Go out, shoot whoever the hell you need to shoot, but it's best you just get out of this life now. We can make this life worth something. The young and the old, the both of us working side by side together, well... We can do anything we want. You think it's that easy, huh? You think you can just kill whoever you want to kill and not face any repercussions for it? Not feel the guilt? Not see that widow's face staring back at you everywhere you go? It is not that easy! Never is. What happened to you? You're John Rathman, you're the greatest outlaw of the West. And now you're an old fat man sitting up north in a cabin in the middle of nowhere? What happened? Sometimes you just get tired. See all the people you killed and you wonder for what? For money? For some bullshit code of honor? Whatever the reason, it doesn't seem to be worth it. Eventually, the thrill of the chase just becomes guilt of what you've done, mixed your whole life, with just that small little urge to give up and die. One day you find a place to hide, to spend your days. And you stay, and you've got all the things you've stolen, and you don't even have any use for them. And nobody else has got them, so you keep them. But sitting alone in a cabin, getting to shut off every person that would remind you of what you've done, well, that's pretty close to wanting to give up and die now, ain't it? So that's what happened to you? You just took everything, you're not even selling it? You were sitting alone, living off hunting and doing whatever you want? You're just a... You're a... Shell of a man I once was. 
waiting for it all to be over. Ask any real outlaw, their one goal is always going to be to get out. I found my peace. I got more riches than I even know what to do with. Hell, this little pocket watch here can buy me enough food to last me three lifetimes. And I haven't even come close to need this sale yet. There's your advice, boy. You got people coming after you? You go and you face them alone. And you get out. You steal whatever you gotta steal on your way out. But don't you look back. I'm sure somebody like you, all they want is a mansion and, and women and booze and all that. By the time you get to be me, you realize how worthless all that is. So go. Get the hell out of my sight. And face what you've done like a man. Yeah, Ron. You know, I'm sure it's all great advice, John. You know, I was never lying when I said you're an inspiration to me. The gang, the family, doing the right thing, all that, though, well, not fully truth. Oh, oh, I just needed oh. to make sure you were as easy a target as you sound. Oh, what oh. old man, full fortune worth the goods. Two men. You dirty lying son of a bitch! That's me. At least I got oh, money now, though. You know, it really was nice meeting you, John. Pleasure's been mine. Clyde, think you're the first person to try and steal from me? You're not. Oh, it don't matter. Still gonna wind up dead anyway. I was just being a real outlaw. Just like you. Come on, come on. Come fight me. Like a man, just like you said. Oh. You ain't no man. This ain't a fight. You're being hunted. You stole from me. And I don't like that very much. There's a special place in hell for people like you. And don't you worry, I'm going to meet you down there. But first, I'm going to kill you. Don't you ever lie to me. Killed another robber yesterday. They always try coming for me, regardless of retirement. I buried him out in the woods. Just like I always try to with the others. Shame. These men so convinced on a lost cause. 
I guess unless you lived it, you can't really know, though. Maybe it's all a lost cause. All I know is now, I have yet another thing I have no use for.